Welcome to Trico. I'm Falguni Whedon, welcoming you to Trico's 15th edition. I'm Falguni Whedon and I'm delighted to be here with Dr. Hashim. Dr. Thank Hashim, welcome. Thank you very much, Falguni. Nice meeting you. And you too. <laughs> Perhaps you. you can tell our audience a little bit about yourself, about where you've come from. You've come from Bangladesh with a, with a very large contingent for Trico this year. We're delighted to have you all. Thank you very much. I'm Dr. Sabina Hashim and uh, I live in Dhaka and work in National Institute of Cardiovascular Diseases and Hospital. It's a government hospital and it's a only cardiac hospital, 500 bed in hospital only for cardiac patients. And I'm an intervention cardiologist and I do intervention over there and uh, we, I do uh, kind of, uh, in our institute we do like uh, 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 2,000, 3,000 cases per year mm. and I love to come to Trico and every year I come because uh, I'm a very much fan of Dr. Tejesh Patel yes. and he's, he, he is my inspiration of doing radials. Previously I used to do femoral angiogram okay. and angioplasties and after uh, coming in Trico, I think uh, first I came in 14 or 15, 2015. Mm. From there, I started my, doing my radial angiogram and angioplasties. And I'm now very much comfortable with the radial route. And, and we, can, we do all kind of uh, interventions over there, like CTOs and bifurcations, mm. all by radial route. Mm. We do IVERS through radial route. Mm. We are, as I said, delighted to have such a large contingent from Bangladesh with us this time for Trico 2020. We've seen some very exciting cases, live cases over the last two days with um, the procedure taking place at Apex Heart Institute and being transmitted live to the audience of everybody from young cardiologists to faculty members uh, moderating. What have you seen in the past two days that's really piqued your interest? Oh, it was all awesome cases uh, done by uh, the different interventionists from different side of the world, like America, Europe, yes. and even in India. So uh, the, all the nice cases and the CTOs and then bifurcation techniques, mm. everything was awesome and nice. Mm. And it would be very helpful for the young cardiologists and also from us. Yes. I think because we, the lifetime you learn, yes. so we are a learner yes. till we, we die. Yes, and I think we've, we've had that, uh, we've, we've been lucky enough to interview most of the faculty members over the last two days and all of them have said they have also learned something from coming to Trico. It's true, it's true. It's, it's I have learned a lot of, lot of things from Trico and especially from <laughs> Tejish Patil. And he, Dr. Tejish Patil visited our institute several times yes. and I used to assist him all the time. Yes. And I learned a lot of things from him, a lot of tips and newer tips and tricks on yes. radial and as well as in, uh, for intervention. Yes. And what would you like to see Dr. Tejish Patel doing next? Oh, I am also fond of his robotic technique. Okay, great. You know, yes. uh, it's, it's, it's very much uh, useful for uh, cardiologists because mm. we, we work in a radiation environment that is a big, big health of hazard course. for us. Mm. So if, we, if the red robotic technology uh, fl uh, flourishes, so if we do red robotic technology, it will be safer for us. Yes. Uh, because the, the, we won't be then uh, in the hazard, health hazard. In yes. the, into the health hazard. And it's the, the field of interventional cardiology, it is a predominantly male field. What are your thoughts on this? You're a, you're a, a renowned female interventional cardiologist. Any messages for those younger cardiologists, female, who may be considering coming into the profession? 
Yes, uh, when I started my career in 2003, I came for a post graduation. So I was only one or two girls. Yes. So everybody uh, looked at us. Oh, you want to do? You want to uh, study cardiology? Mm -hmm. And uh, um, how how it is possible? The lady, you no. Know? Mm -hmm. So it's a always emergency. But I loved cardiology since I did my uh, internship. Okay. Line, you know. So uh, I I I wanted to be a cardiologist yes. since my whole life. Yes. I don't know. Yes. So. Um, it was very hard for me yes. to come up to this way. Okay. And as as it is a male dominant society, mm. so it's a bit dif difficult for a lady mm. to work uh, in a, in that environment. And it is also a, uh, this cardiology intervention is a very stressful job. Of course. And we work with a coroner; his patient can die any time. So it's the riskiest job we do. Mm. So for, I don't know, for a lady, it might be very, very much stressful than a guy. I don't know. But uh, I love to do my job. And you're thriving, clearly. Yeah. You're passionate. And I don't know. Now I see lots of, lots of ladies in my institute as yes. a cardiologist. Right. Like cardiologist. So I, I feel so proud. Yes. That the, all, lots of women in Bangladesh are coming to this yes. field. And I have gone through um, several countries and uh, in um, different conferences. I haven't seen that kind of woman, you know. Mm. Uh, I went to Europe PCR. Oh, few, few girls are there, mm. few, few ladies are there. And everybody was looking at me. I was mm. wearing saris in, the, in that yes. uh, uh, conference and everybody was looking, oh my God, who is she? Yes. <laughs> so it's like that. And I went to America in one conference, C3. So it was a uh, women's uh, corner. Mm -hmm. So all the women cardiologists uh, from the world came, you know. Mm. So uh, it, 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 was, uh, it was very exciting for uh, yes. me to uh, present my yes. uh, experience over there. And they were also telling the same thing. I yes. thought I, I'm from a developing country, mm. so the situation is uh, uh, different, different yes. for me. But yeah. it's not like that. No. It's it's same for the whole yes. world as yes. a woman. And working. perhaps with the robotic technology coming through, it may encourage more female cardiologists, interventional cardiologists to come through the ranks. I think so. And, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, we have uh, Professor Fazila Malik yes. in Dhaka. She is the uh, very renowned yes. uh, intervention cardiologist. So she was our inspiration. Yes, of course. Yeah. From doing the intervention mm. procedures like that. And let's talk a little bit about robotics. We have seen the Apex Heart Institute um, here in Ahmedabad. We've seen them um, perform over 500 um, uh, cases, robotics, in the past two years, which is more than any other, anywhere globally. And then more recently, we've seen them perform the five cases of the telerobotics. Yeah. What are your thoughts on, on the arena of robotics and specifically what the Apex Heart Institute is doing? It's a very good job he is doing because uh, uh, we will follow his path. Yes. So nowadays we don't have robotic uh, facilities in my country. Yes. So the time will come that we'll also do robotic. Yes. And my uh, juniors will do the robotic procedure. Yes. So it's a uh, golden area to be started by his doing robotic PCIs. Yeah. And OCT uh, imaging, we've seen OCT being used mm -hmm. um, in the live cases over the past two days. Yeah. Apex Heart Institute is a centre of excellence for uh, within within uh, Southeast Asia for OCT. What are your thoughts on the OCT technology? I I, I did see the cases of OCT, but my institute don't have the OCT. Mm -hmm. I use IVAS only. Okay. But uh, as I have seen in here and as well as in different conferences, OCT is a very good tool mm -hmm. for imaging technology. Mm -hmm. And very soon we are also trying to bring OCT in our center yes. and it, it gives a lot of lot of information mm. though the time hasn't come yet to stay that say that it is mandatory but it gives a lot lot of information in intervention. Mm. 
So uh, the intervention we do on, only by uh, uh, seeing in the fluoro, mm -hmm. they don't give you the information inside the yes. lumen or yes. artery. So uh, OCT is a wonderful tool yes. for the do, doing the uh, guided OCT yes. guided PCIs. Okay. Dr. Hashim, it's been a real pleasure to have you here. Thank you from Trico 2020, the 15th edition, for participating, for imparting your knowledge to our young cardiologists coming through the ranks, to, to everybody watching online perhaps today or watching from the auditorium. We thank you for your participation. And thank you very much. You know, we have also a radial intervention course in our uh, country. So we want to collaborate it with uh, Dr. Tejesh Patel and with Trico. We hope that we can do uh, in a much better way with collaboration with Bangladesh and uh, India. I have so. no doubt that will happen. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you.